Hello again everybody, it's Michael here from Gold Lotus helping you rethink the way that you learn or teach a foreign language using virtual reality and in this case it's the English language. We're back here in Firefox Reality, Mozilla Firefox Reality browser. I'm on my Oculus Quest 2 device as you might be able to see from my uh, controllers here. And we're back on the Sketchfab website looking at a selection of 3D models today. And this particular one is a frog, as you can see, by Ruffer. So this is the person who created this 3D model of a frog. I will put the link to this person's work and Sketchfab profile and 3D objects in the description below of this video. We're on a VR headset, so let's jump in now. So you click that button, view in VR, and there we go, there is the frog. Let's first just describe what we can see here. We can see the frog sitting on what? Do you know the name of this particular green object the frog is sitting on? No, it's not a chair. Good, it's a lily pad. This is a lily pad. That the frog is sitting on. Uh, the frog is in a lake, yes? No. It's a pond, P-O-N-D. A pond is a small lake. What is the frog sitting on? Good, you are listening back there. It's a lily pad. Ah, I will describe the action of the frog now. What did the frog just do? Did you see that? Let's watch that again. Watch. <coughs> Hmm. Hmm. How could you describe that action? Good. Yes, you could say that the frog is using its long tongue, its long reaching tongue, to pull in the fly, to pull in the fly into its mouth, or to pull the fly into its mouth. What's the past simple verb of pull? Do you know? The past simple form. Good. It's regular. It's pulled. P-U-L-L-E-D. The frog pulled the fly into its mouth with its long reaching tongue. Okay. Right. So, lily pad. Pond. Pulling the fly into its mouth. Long reaching tongue. These are good words when describing frogs. Uh, let's just make it a bit bigger. We'll jump over here, just like a frog would do. And I want you to describe to me a little bit. How do, you how do you describe its body parts here, in particular these parts of the body? Good, their legs more generally, excellent. But uh, they are feet, so we, we would say feet. Obviously some animals, like uh, dogs and cats, you would say paws, but we would definitely describe these as feet. But there's a particular name that we would describe uh, to use to describe these feet, and we would say webbed. Feet. That's W E B B E D. Webbed. Webbed. Feet. Webbed. Feet. Like a web. Spider's web. These are webbed feet. Let's just get a closer look at that. We're going to jump over to the lily pad on the pond. Good. You're remembering these words. And these are webbed feet. Webs. So there's this kind of uh, connection between each toe. So there are three toes on the one foot, and these are webbed feet. Okay, so the frogs are amphibians. We're gonna put that word in the video. You'll see that appear right now. Good, that's amphibian. And an amphibian is typically an animal which can live, I think, in the water and on land, just like this animal here. And they start off as tadpoles. There's another word for you on the topic of frogs. And tadpoles are baby frogs. So we say kitten for baby cat, uh, puppy for baby dog, and tadpoles for baby frogs. Ah, we've seen the frog. We've seen some good words today associated with frogs. Can you remember them? Here we go. Webbed feet. Let's jump. Sorry, let's, let's go a little bit closer. Don't be afraid. He's had his dinner, as you can see. Webbed feet. He's sitting on what? Good, a lily pad. In a lake? No, a pond. And he has a short tongue? No, a long reaching tongue. Why? <coughs> to eat the fly. You could just see it in the mouth there. Okay, well, that's it. Give the frog a kiss. Thank you, Freddy. And I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves.
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it with your friends, family and frogs out there. And I'll be back soon for another video in virtual reality. Take care. Bye-bye.